Good morning on another beautiful morning in Kenya. We woken up early today at 6 a.m. because we are going to the Savo uh, Animal Reserve. From here, we will be traveling in a van with a guide. So we are hoping to see the big five. Uh, you will see the backdrop here. You got amazing trees like the neem tree, all medicinal trees everywhere. And uh, we've just had a mango and the, the, the ma name of the mango in Kenya is apple mango. So let's go and check the mango out. about to go to a place called Mzima Springs where the water that is used in Mombasa in Voi comes from. Oh. It's uh it's uh, uh it is springs that yeah. comes from about uh happened about five hundred years ago. Oh. So there are springs of water and they emanate about five million liters of water daily. By living in India now. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome really? back home. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This is buffalo. Also, this is buffalo. Mm -hmm. And this is gazelle family. It's yeah. very small, dig yeah. dig. This, as you see right around us is a volcanic eruption that happened thousand years ago and that's how the Mount Kilimanjaro and it flew from Tanzania so it's from Tanzania so this is like one of the wonders of the world in, in Kenya Hi, I've got a very important person with me who's been <laughs> taking us for a ride, guide, uh, I can tell he's an environmentalist and uh, cares about Kenya. Okay. So tell me, um, is this one of the biggest uh, na national parks? Yeah, Southwest is one of the biggest national parks and it has a uh, feature like the springs of water yeah. Yeah. and so many species. So basically you've taken us on a world tour in Savo because yeah. this morning we saw some, the lava yeah. was in a volcanic eruption God knows how many years yeah. ago and we saw that this morning. Ah, we saw the elephants, the gillas, yeah. we saw the oryx, you saw the irad, you saw the yeah, there is a kudu. Ah. It's actually the most beautiful animal. And yes. then of course you saw the giraffe, yes. plenty of giraffes. Yes. To go, I really don't go on trip for many times, but ah. when I like the clients I decide to go on trip. Thank but you. this is my passion. 
that brings us to a lake where there is this amazing fish called the blue fish. I've never seen such fish in my life. Hello, I'm at the Serena Resorts in Savo. Uh, we've got a small display of memorabilia here. If you see here, it was the railways that were built, the British East Africa. This were the Uganda railways in the highlands. And we've come here further. Uh, you can see that the Indians were brought from, Af from India to Kenya to build the railways. And there is a famous incident of 128 Indians being eaten alive by the lions in Kenya. Uh, you come across here, you can see some of the railways that were built and they were being transporting in those days. And here are the two man eaters lions in Kenya from Savo. They caught them eventually. And here's a very famous, iconic photograph of the first president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta. He still loved to come to this resort. So this was taken soon after independence. This is the rare sight, once in a lifetime opportunity of seeing a wild elephant right in front of you. So look, as you can see, he's not even 50 meters away. He's come to drink his water. He's just a solitary elephant that's come. There are other wildlife around him. Uh, we've just finished an amazing tour of the Kenya Wild Safari Service at Samuel National Park. And we had a fantastic guide. David was taking us all around the park, so it's highly recommended. And I'm ready for dinner. 1967 was the last time I tried one of the classic dishes from Kenya called Ugali. So I remember my mom sending me to the neighbors to eat this. We were on the sitting on the floor and there's a big plate and I tasted the garden and I was very impressed. So 67, so almost 50, 57 years later, let me try it again. Hi, uh, what we're eating here is ugali and choma, which is the barbecued meat of um, Kenya. And it is really tasty. I've got the beef barbecued um, choma with ugali and their greens and chapatis have also a big influence in Kenya um, so we feel a bit at home here it's lovely <laughs> 